feel marginally better now. Mm. Success. Camera is uh, rolling. Ladies and germs, what do we have here? We have my partner's M3CS. Um, it is currently stock, so less than impressive, but he loves these cars more than life itself. Probably uh, on par with his son. Um, he's owned like 47 G80s. For what reason, I don't know, but we're gonna go try and figure out if we can taste a little bit of the magic. Um, CS has a bunch of carbon fiber in it, which looks really cool if you want to be the alpha of the BMW world. Alpha! Um, but I will say this, this car doesn't have any cup holders. So, except in the door pockets, which are angled, which is really stupid. You get in a Pista, it has a cup holder, albeit one, but a cup holder. You get in an STO, cup holder, 765LT, cup holder. This thing has this fancy carbon fiber tunnel and no cup holder. So I don't know if this is BMW trying to, you know, take a shot at Americans and say that we're fat and need to stop drinking sodas which I completely agree with, but in the morning, when you wanna get pumped up from the neck up and have yourself a, a cup of that black bean juice that makes me feel oh so good, what do I do? I gotta put it in the door, I gotta flip it around so it doesn't spill, and still, if I wanna get swifty, then there's a chance that, oh right, we're sideways. Maybe it's gonna dump out on my leg. I gotta drink it down to at least halfway before I throw the car sideways. So, demerit BMW M. Fix that. Um, other than that, nicely balanced car. hours later. <laughs> now we need tires. So um, we'll touch back in after we pull the ECU out of this guy, send it over to our friends in Narnia, Femto, Finland, whatever you want to call it. And in two short weeks, we will have an unlocked ECU from which we can apply sauce. So until then, boys and girls, keep your heads held high, your tires spinning, and have yourself a wonderful day. Okay, okay. I'm a chance settle. I'm a chance settle. I'm a chance settle. Let go. Whoever you are, I know you're not honking at me. I know you're not honking at me. I'm trying to woosa right now. We're in an M8 convertible. Tuned. On pump gas, does about 700 wheel. It does the business. Um, if this traffic ever clears up, I'm gonna spin the tires and try to feel better because I don't feel so good right now. Um, Everybody sucks. All right. It works. It's a really fucking bad day to be the Michelin man. We're going to see if the convertible swings worth it. feel marginally better now. This one's not that interesting. It's just an angle.
angry man in a BMW. Skidding. <laughs> okay, slightly less angry. And Daniel, if you're watching, you did tell me to make videos with the car, so. Yeah, M8. Um, they're pretty quick. We can make them quicker. If I give you E30 and stuff, but if you want to make a lot, a lot, a lot of power on these cars, you really need to build a motor. Over 700 wheel torque and the rods are going to turn into a banana. Um, so that's not nice. Um, this is where we hold them on pump gas. It's nice, it's safe, it makes good power. You kick shit out of just about anything that's normal, like, you know, normal fast. Not crazy fast, but normal fast. Um, you know, it's a six point something, mid low sixes, 60 to 130, uh, depending on conditions, stuff like that. This is the convertible, so it's like a gajillion pounds heavier than it should be. And it's very bendy and flexy and um, has the torsional stiffness of a wet noodle. And if you rev it, it sounds like this. Now I'm that guy in traffic. How do you know when you really, 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 really lit them up? Because the smoke is billowing from the tonneau cover. Um, I hope the camera gets that. That's what a fifth gear rolling burnout looks like. Do I need to be like extra close to it or? Okay. Um, are you rolling? Um, hello boys and girls. We are here with the Snot Rocket, my partner CS. Now, we're gonna pull the ECU out of it, we're gonna get it ready to go send it to Femto, and I'm gonna try not to cuss and swear too much pulling this out because it only takes like 10 minutes, but you do bust your knuckles because it does require turning wrenches, and I don't like turning wrenches, that's why I started a software company. So, uh, I'm gonna try not to swear too much and get demonetized because, uh, you know, we're just starting this YouTube thing, and uh, we don't wanna ruin it before it takes off. There comes a point where it becomes you versus the car. And I want to beat the out of the car. And I don't have the patience for it. Okay, so all nuts and bolts are out. <clears throat> Chassis brace is going to come off. Um, because this is a CS, it's a little bit more large and in charge than on the normal one. But this guy's off. So now we're going to pull ECU that lives under there. So, um, now that we got the chassis brace off, uh, this is our ECU. This is what's got to get sent over to Femto. The guys that are really making all the money, you guys want to and moan at me that we charge too much for tunes. These are the guys that really make the money and why it now costs a gajillion dollars to tune your BMW. This is what we need to unlock so that tuning is possible. So all these BMW G chassis cars made after 06 of 2020 have to be sent to Femto, have the special unlock service so that then we can read and flash calibration and do the magic dance that we do. This guy's gotta come out of here. These cables gotta get unplugged. It's a smart idea to disconnect your battery so that you don't get a bunch of stored codes for you know missing messages and loss of communication to the module. It helps when you do this if you have fingernails. I don't, I just cut mine. Jose, don't record this. You're not supposed to work on cars with a pocket knife. Once again, file this under the category of do as I say, not as I do. Success. After, I don't think we've drawn any blood, that's good. Um, some cussing and swearing. Jose will bleep that out. Um, hopefully, where you're doing this in the world, it's not a garage that's 100 degrees. Like I said, I'm in my secret evil, Dr. Evil Volcano lair. This is what we wanted. This is ECU. Um, we're gonna send this to Femto. It's gonna get unlocked. 
takes somewhere between 8 to 14 days to come back, depending on how Customs is feeling at any given moment. Um, once it comes back, we slap it in a car, and then we have the ability to do whatever it is that we want. This particular car, because it belongs to us, is going to be getting uh, most likely everything, including the kitchen sink. Um, exhaust, um, probably start off on E40, multi-map, and then throw a port injection kit on it for some fully 85. These cars typically do close to 800 wheel on that. It's quick, um, you know, sub 5.5, 5, 60 to 130. And then we're going to see how far we go up with it from there. Maybe make a full frame turbo replacement. Um, I don't know yet. So, but for now, I'm going to pack this, insure it, ship it. So they are insured. You don't have to worry if uh, you do send them. They will come back. Never lost one. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, when you send these to me, doesn't matter where you are in the world, please include. Just, you can print a little label that goes right here if you don't include it. Uh, printed, you can write it. Please make the handwriting legible. Um, my handwriting is terrible, that's why I say print it. But um, VIN number, your make model. Obviously, I know it's a BMW, but VIN number, your make model, your name, your shipping address, and what we're doing right so if it's just a normal single map femto unlock or if it's getting mhd plus whatever special instructions that i need to know that way because they're going to show up in an unmarked box i don't have to you know spend extra time trying to chase down whose ecu is what because we do get a lot of these things they're constantly going and coming and it makes life easier that way you get your computer back quicker and you can have your car tuned go out race somebody not bother me so, Jose reminded me, uh, I forgot to talk about this while I was cussing and swearing at the car. Uh, come one, come all, to the greatest merch drop of them all. We have stage four tuning on the front. Yep, uh, need money for a Porsche. More specifically, a stage four Porsche because normal Porsches are not enough. Now, what do we have here? We have uh, stage four tuning. Yeah. Tune them and swing them because when you get power and you turn the traction control off, you can drive like me, maybe. Uh, we have stage four tuning with the homies, holy shit, 765 on the back with a nice little piece written about racing and what it means to knuckleheads like me. We've got a bunch of new styles. They're all dropping on the 11th. So if you like me, go shop the merch. If you don't like me, still shop the merch, light it on fire, send me a video. I promise you I'll cry for a very long time. So um, go check it out. Link going to be in the bio um, on all the posts, everything, whatever, links everywhere. Uh, coming very soon to an internet near you. I actually wrote that. Oh, yes, you're panning to me. Uh, I actually wrote that, um, you know, this part right here. Um, it started out in life when we were, you know, just a little aside behind the scenes of how we do this stuff. Um, like everything these days, it was AI-generated text. I took a look at it, I thought that it was terrible. Um, and then I wrote a little bit about, you know, what racing means to me and people that are nuts like me. And I feel that some of you can identify with it, and some of you may want to identify with it, and some of you won't, that's okay. Still, buy it, it's cheap, it's clothing, it's not a tune. So everybody can do it.